Okay guys, the Rocket Cone Plus gaming mouse. So as always, a quick look at the packaging. Go over to go over the features, specifications and functionality. So it has a four light four um, LED system, twenty-two mouse functions integrated TDCU, it has an onboard processor um, it's a 72 megahertz processor um, and that's for the um, I'll talk about that later actually so it's got a weight system, it has four 5 gram weights that you can add 576 kilobytes of onboard memory for up to 5 game profiles so yeah there's the four easy to clip in weights Easy shift, you so it's 6,000 DPI. It's the highest DPI I've ever seen on a mouse. Now, easy shift is basically you can have two functions per button um, by using a shift key, just like the keyboard. So it's a pretty cool thing to add to a mouse. So it's also what it can do is um, scan the surface you're using and adjust itself, calibrate itself for that surface and it's also got a distance control unit so that you can set up the um, you know how far away you want the mouse to be able to pick up the surface from. Eight mouse buttons um, and they get the 22 functions an ultra quiet low friction mouse feet all its awards 72 megahertz turbo core that's the onboard processor anyway that's enough of the box I'll just show you what you get with the with the mouse um, ID card which is exactly like a credit card so you just sign the back of it and each mouse has a an individual serial number um, so that's the proof of ownership driver CD don't use it, get the latest drivers off the website that holds the weights I've already installed them so I'll show you those shortly uh, and I'll just quickly show you this this is actually the quick installation guide but it's highly detailed so a lot of this we've already covered, I'll just quickly go over it. A thousand hertz polling rate, one millisecond response time, which is basically the best you can get. And have a look at those specs, I don't have time to go over all of them, but just read those, absolutely amazing performance on this mouse. Um, so it's got a two meter USB cable, it's not actually braided, it's just covered by rubber. So yeah, you can just pause all this and read it if you'd like to. Just shows the default button assignments. The software is very powerful. Um, yeah, there's an incredible amount of customization that you can do in the software. It is unbelievable. So. I won't spend too long here because I'm going to be spending ages showing you the software. Alright, so let's have a look at the actual mouse. Um, the surface is very, very smooth. It's the normal matte finish that you get on, you know, all mice, Logitech, Razer, but it's actually smoother. Um, here's the Imperator here and yeah it's, it's definitely nicer to touch beautiful silky soft smooth surface logo there two buttons there um, yeah ergonomic design very well designed it fits my hand just perfectly I really um, love the way this mouse feels actually like I can easily fit um, two fingers on this 
on this side and my pinky does not drag at all and that is a problem that I have with almost every single mouse. My pinky is always dragging on the mouse mat and it gets quite sore. Um, but as you can see, it's quite. I'm just not holding it properly at the moment, but it's quite easy to get that pinky up out of the way and fit those two fingers on the side of the mouse because of how well shaped and designed it is. Uh, it's definitely a palm grip, not a claw grip. My whole palm is touching the mouse, fingers extended, um, and still not finding the end. Basically, my whole hand is on the mouse, um, which gives you excellent control, you know. The whole surface area of my hand is, is touching the mouse, my fingers, my palm, my thumb. It's just really is beautiful to hold. I'm thinking about changing from my Mamba to this mouse um, because I actually like the way this mouse feels more than my Mamba and more than any other mouse that I've used actually. Um, even the G9X which I used for years, I used the G9 and then the G9X for a very very long time and I loved it a lot but yeah quite impressed um, so I'll just turn it over so there's the it looks like a dual eye laser 6000 dpi uh, and that's where the weights go so you just twist that to open it up it doesn't twist very far um, sorry about this I don't have a tripod I'm getting one this week or very soon anyway um, so that will improve the quality of my videos a lot so there's the weights there very easy to pull out there's four of them and they're five grams each okay nice big Teflon mouse foot on the back there and another two at the front so there's three all up alright let's have a look at the software there really is a lot to look at here so I'll just show you the different tabs, you've got main control, button assignment, color control and advanced control and update and support so starting at main control, sensitivity, vertical scroll speed, horizontal tilt speed um, set the DPI of each individual DPI level of which there is five, double click speed uh, create profile, load profile, save profile, edit profile um, all the profile slots across the bottom there so as you can see already um, this mouse is extremely customizable now button assignments, this is the standard button assignment area so I'll just show you the list this is pretty amazing um, and over this side this is the shift button assignment so um, when you hit that easy shift key you can access secondary functions for each button so two functions per button uh, and also the macro manager is here as well um, switch to advanced editor anyway I'm going a bit slow here so the color control unit so you can set a different color to each of the LEDs which there's one on each corner as you can see um, so at the moment I've got green, orange uh, pinkish purple and blue so you can have the light on or off you select color for all lights adjust light effect you've got fully anyway you can read all that so I'm just going to change that to heartbeat um, color flow effect check that out uh, set it to down light speed slow fast so I'm just going to hit apply on that and just give you a look let's turn this light off
Um, it's the camera's not really picking up how cool this looks. I mean, this is a very nerdy, pointless nerdy thing, but um, yeah, it really does look cool. Some of some of the settings, if you can get some nice colors happening, it looks absolutely awesome. So this is the really interesting area, the advanced control. So advanced sensitivity, separate x, y axis. And this is the tracking control unit, the um, internal processor, the TCU that I was talking about. So by default it's off, when you switch it on it's got to calibrate. Um, so basically, I just hit start calibration. You have to leave the mouse still while you're doing this. Um, right now it's scanning the surface that it's on and it's configuring itself to suit that surface perfectly. Um, just says please turn on and adjust your distance control unit which is here so you got off low normal and extra low I've got it on extra low because it really does pick up the mouse mat from quite a distance um, and if you're doing a retake like that you don't want it to be picking up the mouse mat because that's quite annoying so, polling speed, sound feedback when you switch profile, change DPI, or volume up, up or down, or sensitivity change, you can you actually get sound feedback. You get a voice telling you um, what you've actually done. So, Windows pointer speed, acceleration and pointer trails factory defaults and then you've just got one more section here which is updates and support so that's basically it I might just try and show you the um, voice 3000 to 200 dpi how's that it even tells you what dpi you've set 6000 dpi 6000 dpi <laughs> alright guys Thanks for watching, it's been a pretty long video so I better stop there.